Storm coverage isn't easy enough tonight, even as Debbie does, taking you from the westernmost parts of Horry County all the way back to the coast. Want to kick things off tonight with our Ashley Listrom right along the Lumber River near Nichols. And Ashley, we've been hammering home the threat of river crestings all week. What does it look like where you are right now, and how are people in that area feeling? Eric, folks who live here along River Loop Road tell me they're concerned about their homes. Their homes that are right behind me here. As you can see, they're partially submerged in water. Now, just to put this into perspective, where I'm standing is usually a street, but Debbie has really taken over the whole area and turned this area into just another part of the river. Worry. <laughs> That's all you can do is worry, right? Some locals around Nichols and Mullins are holding their breath, praying rising post Debbie water levels in the Lumber and Little Petey Rivers won't threaten their homes. I got a house down there. I was just worried about it, reckon, but hopefully it'll be okay. I got about that much room more left. If it comes up that much more, I'm going to be in. As water continues to drain, flash flood watches are in place for Horry County and parts of the PD. And near the Lumber and Little PD River, I saw waist high water creeping towards some homes firsthand. Uh, I expect it to come up some more and hopefully it'll, it'll stay out of the house so I don't have to, uh, you know, dry it out again. <laughs> Take it to higher ground. It's river life. You can love it. You either love it or you don't. But many people tell me these high river levels are nothing compared to previous storms. The, the flood level was up to here last time. And the river sure does come up quicker, a whole lot quicker than it used to. The flooding has also forced crews to close several streets with PD Island Road and Nichols taking a particularly hard hit between Thursday and Friday. SLED, SCDNR, the Marion County Sheriff's Office and Nichols Police Department have all been monitoring conditions and SLED says at least one water rescue went down Thursday. And until the water goes down, just get your house up, pick it in there, <laughs> don't leave it down. The flash flood warning will be in place until further notice. Live in Horry County, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News.